and we're back at the infamous garage i know you guys seen the last few videos have been hopefully keeping up with the channel we be riding the bikes left and right but we honestly don't show too much of the maintenance you can see that we got the fire blade the triple r full res favorite bike you know he's back there in the camera so today we're gonna do a little bit of maintenance on it brake pad to chain and sprocket surprisingly uh oil change and the clutches so i feel like this bike uh there you go and shout out to manny for all these parts he really hooked us up uh got us with fast shipping and honestly we just kind of been so busy that i think we've had it for like last week or so and finally getting on the bike um if you guys kind of been keeping up with the channel we got so much stuff going on um the gar infamous garage right now is packed i mean R1M is uh, chilling there. We're waiting on some parts on that. So we got to show the blade a little bit of love. Do the sprockets. We went with the super light. Manny recommend these. So went with the OEM gearing, but we went ahead and did the 520. So we're going to do the 520 conversion, make it light with lighter weight chain. The 3D by EK, uh, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but we went with the gold chain. I think we've rocked this on Mona Lisa and I believe I think that the M has it I, I can't recall but we've always been using this chain with all the bikes oh, yeah yes. and OEM oil filter with the OEM, OEM oil for the Honda so we pretty much got everything here set up whole red's been busy so we're just kind of making time in between videos and content and stuff like that um, but wanted to show you guys kind of you know little maintenance little little view or you know a little kind of what, behind the scenes type of deal uh, on the bikes. Um, because yeah, I feel like we beat on these bikes and wheelie them and you know, race them and all that good stuff. I mean, we, we still sit down and take care of them, you know, um, which I think we should do some. Yeah, that's Brett right there. What you, God, open it, bro. <laughs> open it. Damn. So speaking of which, that boy Brett uh, came through, like I was mentioning the R1M. Um, we need to show us some love. That boy brought us some more goodies, which I think the was, was it the VF designs. Mm -hmm. uh, fuel. I seen it on uh, IG. I feel like a few of the kind of like a what is it? What is that for the tail? For the tail light. Yeah. Uh, it's the, so you got the two fins on each side. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Basically, tr it outlines the two fins, and it's your blinkers, and you, you just put an integrated tail. Clean it's go it's gonna look clean. It's gonna look clean. Um, that and then what else you brought us? Tank pads, oh yeah, tech spec. That's what we're in the good brand, good brand. And stickers. Yeah, that's so that's your. Oh, there you go. Let me show that. Oh, that boy went with the carbon too, bro. The same blue. Oh, it's the same blue. Oh, it's the same blue, bro. Yeah. yeah so R1M is gonna be looking clean. Uh, we still got other parts coming in. It's, it's a nice build so far, I, but I think we're not even halfway through it. So it's gonna be a lot more episodes and a lot more videos of it. So more content on it. Um, but I guess let's just get started on the blade and get it going. It's the first time I see you since Guatemala, right? I know, bro, fucking. Uh, yeah, right before. You, you got fucking, I don't know, did you get a tan or did you- Oh, like, dude, I'm light compared to when I came back. Oh, really? Oh, dude, I was dark as fuck. Uh, if you wanna put it here or something like that we're not eclipse uh evo i mean you had a little bit more more life in it no nah, that's it it's gone what you oh, mean no, bro that is yeah. done nah bro. you had Holy nah shit. you had a little bit of life in it <laughs> flat right now with yeah, these in here head. get you a flat head yeah. and push on it and they'll open up it'll be fine that holds them in the top pin no nah, these don't oh, have pins oh those don't have pins no well each are, di are different so these it looks like it has a clip Right here, I guess. Oh. They just like a guide, guide clip. Oh, they're hot. <laughs> and let me see the back. Let me do this thing. I think I need to take that little silver piece off. Uh, no, this should. Every pad's a little different, but you shouldn't have to put that on there. So that's one side, pop the other side out, or slide the other side out. Then you're not gloves, bro? Yeah, I know. That's what I said. I should have worn my gloves. So you can see these are old pads. So I think you still had another 10,000 miles on these, in my yeah. opinion. <laughs> Alex Miles. <laughs> in my opinion. I barely touched the front weight brake anyways. The, w the wheels in the air. So, I mean, I, honestly, this one didn't come with it. I mean, the OEM pads had it. I'm just going to kind of keep going with it. I, th this might help. This is where the two cylinders, uh, the brake cylinders press on the pad. So I think it might just be like a, I don't know, like a back into it. So 
So I open it up enough to where I have enough space uh, to slide the rotor back in. And before I forget, once you put this back on, you go ahead and pump the brake. It's not, you're gonna have a lot of space and you're gonna feel like you have, you have no brakes on your bike. And that's it. Other bikes, they have like little like, I guess like what little guides or something. Uh, I don't know, like two uggas, uh, 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 two lines. So what I do is, and this is the lazy way. Uh, meters. It's probably ten newton meters, most likely. Uh, probably not. It's probably more. Um, You'd be surprised. No, because ten newton meters. Ten newton meters is about a hundred foot pounds. Oh, is it? Oh, okay, yeah. I know foot pounds. pounds. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is probably mm -hmm. like. Yeah, like 60 foot pounds or something. Yeah. So what I do is before I take it out, since you know it came from factory, I make marks on the bolts. Uh, so I just go back and put on the marks. All right, so both sets of uh, brake pads are on. We went ahead and pumped uh, the brake, so we have you know I guess the pad touching back uh, on the rotor, just in case you know full rest wants to go do a wheelie real quick or something. He has you know he could stop. Um, we're gonna have to flip the bike around on the lift so we can get access to the rear wheel and start on the chain and sprocket. So, and again, shout out to Manny. Appreciate you coming in with the parts. And if you guys are looking at anything for a Triple R, or honestly the R1M, he's the one kind of hooking this up and, and getting the parts to us, you know, you in a timely million, manner. Though. Huh? You got to say Moto Million. Oh, Moto Million, my bad. So <laughs> Manny, Moto Million, hit him up, great guy. They got a whole bunch of things, not just for the Triple R, the R1M, the BMW, like I think we mentioned back in the channel, Motor Million has been really like the go-to to get all these carbon fiber bits and stuff like that. And um, like I mentioned, even the, the pads and the chain, you know, normal maintenance stuff. So hit them at uh, MannyMotorMillion.com and they'll take care of you like they take care of us. So let's get the bike turned around and get on that chain sprocket. Let's just oh, cut the shit. We didn't cut. This is going to the vlog. Bro. Vlog mass. <laughs> Um, Hashtag vlogmas. Do you want to explain what vlogmas is real quick? Uh, <laughs> What's it? I don't know, bro. Right. It's a little bit of Christmas and vlogging. That's all I know. <laughs> this is day. I don't know which day. It, it, yeah, is. yeah. It's one of those days. Hey, this between is uh, we're in it. Just, I, I, that's all I know. We're in it right now. So it's between the first and the twenty. That's it. Yeah. I, mean, I guess you weren't wrong because this thing says twenty to thirty thousand kilometers. Yeah. So I mean, you ride about ten thousand miles. So. so like I was saying, Google says, <laughs> and before I was rudely interrupted, uh, <laughs> rudely. on on the bikes from what I could tell is you get about 10,000 miles, eight, 12, give or take, whatever it could be. Um, at least on the OEM chains, maybe the other chains, depending on whatever brand, you might get less. I don't know, like full rest of saying, but uh, at least for us, it's been about 10,000 miles. This one's just about there. Um, I think that's like some, and you could tell when the chain's going because you have those kind of hard spots and, and, and they change the arts kind of like kinking up. Um, you can feel it and then especially if you roll, you know, the easy ways, you can roll the, the rear tire and you'll you kind of see it yourself. So uh, this one's doing that. So we're gonna go ahead and do the chain but since we're doing the 520 conversion, we're doing the sprockets too. We didn't do the, we didn't mess with the gearing. So we're gonna do OEM gearing, uh, but now it's gonna be just on the 520 chain and the 520 sprockets, uh, which kind of helps with rotational mass, yada, yada. So the way we usually do it is we kind of start from the front, uh, loosen up the sprocket before even messing with the chain or anything like that, because that way we can leave it in gear uh, and it's not, it's gonna be easier for us to loosen it up. Yeah, no. So like I was saying, guys, uh, they're gonna order some food. Uh, uh, go ahead, bread and uh, met, uh, full rest. Rock paper. You got curfew today? Nah. No. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, full rest did it real nice. What? What happened? You broke? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, real oh. nice. Now you really do need a motion. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, you might have used the wrong one. You might have should have used the fatter one, maybe. Or that. Yeah, yeah that's it. That's, a, that's the one. Is it? Yeah, this is a slim one. Uh, this is this is even. Oh yeah, this one. Cause this I is. feel like that would have went in the hole. No. Oh yeah, boy. Oh, you're good there. You still have it. <laughs> yeah. You're good there. You still got it. We broke it, the man. bicycle one. That's the one we broke. Yeah, fuck that bicycle shit. Yeah. So. You don't even have that bike, so. Damn, I'm have to go to the house and get it. I have I have some in my house. I can go get mine. What size is it? I have a bunch. Is it a no, 34? I have, I have his. 
Well, I can go get one. So since full res, I gave them the socket, 36 millimeter stuff for you guys with a triple R. Uh, it's what you need to remove the axle. <coughs> yeah, that's why he's coughing. Uh, on the rear tire, uh, he forgot it at home. So Brett was, I guess, what uh, gracious enough to go get his because I think he's a little closer. Uh, so we're waiting on him in order to be in order for us to remove the rear tire and get to the rear sprocket so we can swap it out. Uh, meanwhile, we're waiting. We're gonna go ahead and do the front sprocket, and we're gonna take out the old chain. I know we got the three the. Over here, uh, Brett will come back with the uh, socket and we'll do the, the rear sprocket and go ahead and do the master link and finish this up. So, oh, so another thing is now that we have everything kind of uh, uh, apart, we're going we gonna to try to weigh this. So I think that's a good idea for us to do. So, like I said, we went with the gold. I feel like for the blade, the blade has the Olin suspension. So you have the Olin forks back here. Uh, sorry, the Olin uh, uh, rear shock back here, the forks uh, are Olin, so you have the gold, so we kind of playing off of that, plus you have the white, uh, so I think it's going to re really pop off. So, another thing. Oh, and uh, it's going to match, uh, it's going to pop with the new fairings coming in. Oh, yeah, so shout out to Mo uh, Monster Fairings. They're doing a custom kind of fairing kit for us. Um, they can't kind of reach out to, to, to us and wanted to collab on something and we talked to them I feel like the, the blade was a perfect candidate because we have S1000s the, the M1000s but I feel like a lot of people have done the BMW platform with the customizing and color changes all that good stuff uh, the blade you don't really see it too much so we kind of opted for that and um, I think it's gonna be unique is what kind of we're trying to go for uh, and it's gonna kind of stand out because anybody that's here in the States has a triple R, looks just like this. You know, the library is the same way from here to uh, LA, from here to New York. So uh, we're gonna be a little bit different. I think over there, overseas, if I'm not mistaken, they got the base model, so they don't have the library. I think they have the black, the gray, or whatever, the white. Non -SP, yeah, okay. the non-SP uh, uh, triple R's. So um, yeah, Monster Fairings, appreciate you guys. Uh, if you guys are looking for to customize your own fairings, check them out. Um, and we're excited so we're just kind of waiting on that we have a design that we're trying to do so hopefully it comes in soon and guys stay tuned so it's gonna look super super clean so so shout out to manny for giving uh promoter million giving full rest almost a heart attack uh he thought the chain was short then he, at first he thought the chain was long uh then he looked at it now he then he thought the chain was short but he counted it same links so we don't have to mess with the chain all we got to do is go ahead and roll it onto the sprockets do the master link and call it a day. Um, so let's do, let's go ahead and do the the sprocket. You got uh, super, super light? But let's weigh it. I mentioned we were gonna weigh it, so let's get the rear sprocket and the front sprocket. Yeah. All right, so we got the scale zeroed out. Let's put the chain on first. So the chain, you're looking at four pounds, what, six ounces? So a little bit under four and a half pounds. Now with the, let's do the rear sprocket. Went up to five pounds, 13 ounces, and then the front sprocket. So the whole thing is six pounds and 3.9 ounces. Sure, yeah, 3.9 ounces. So a little bit under six and a half pounds onto the bike. Once we remove it, the rear sprocket, will go ahead and weigh that, but I think it will be a huge difference. Five twenty. Put this away. All right, but so what I like to do, I just go ahead and lube up the O-rings with that grease for lube, and then for red, I'm gonna do the plate at the end. <laughs> Meanwhile, I change my gloves. That way. Could you put that way? Yeah. I'm not I going just, no ah! I just look. Okay, my nasty. Oh, Damn. No. I thought you were holding it. Nope. I, was... I think we good. Yeah, a little more. A little, a little more, more, right? Yeah, I knew it. If it's mushroom uh, If it's mushroomed out, like uh, full res is on a Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know it's good to go. <laughs> Damn. Now you're good. Oh, 
was gonna squeeze the clutch on you. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure. Well, right now because the chain is loose. Yeah, I mean, you were what? Six pounds, six ounces, six pounds, four ounces, two ounces. I mean, it's yeah, it's a yeah. savings, but you know, it's nothing you could write. You know, drastic. Yeah. yeah. Got everything back on the bike. Um, Full rest went ahead and knocked out the, the front sprocket bolts. cover uh, with the bolts. They put the linkage back on for the shifter. Uh, the chain's back on. It's been adjusted, so the tension on it and, and the, I guess the, what, with the chain alignment tool, uh, it's realigned. We tightened the axle, tires back on. Um, next is the clutch, um, which Full Res I think has right here. We're gonna go ahead and replace the clutch plates on the bike. Uh, like I mentioned, it has uh, it's up there a little bit up on miles, and I think the clutch is kind of wearing down. So we're gonna go ahead and swap it out. But for that, we gotta bring it down from the lift, swap it out. It's just easier to kind of record on this side, anyways. Uh, so we can have the clutch side on this side, and it will be a kind of learning experience for us, and I guess maybe for you guys, because I don't. I try to look for a triple R clutch replace uh, or a replacement, and. Well, I think we're the first, so stay tuned, wish us luck. <laughs>